Welcome to the newest episode of The Great Wendy Way, where I will be bringing you this week's top Broadway news. Those of you disappointed that you can't go see Aaron Tveit's concert in May at 54 Below may be in luck. It was announced this week that there will be a live album recorded and released. There will be six shows between May 3rd and 18th at 54 Below, all of which are currently sold out. The show and the album are entitled The Radio In My Head, live at 54 Below. The songs from the Aaron Tveit concert will include pop, childhood favorites, contemporary music, and of course, Broadway hits. Though the album won't be available until September 10th, it is currently available for pre-order on Amazon.com. Also coming to 54 Below in May is One Star and Tony Award winner Steve Kazee. Other stars that have recorded albums at 54 Below include Norbert Leo Butts and Patti Lapone. After 12 years and almost 5,000 performances, the ABBA-inspired musical Mamma Mia will be moving from the Winter Garden Theater. The show will be leaving its current home to move to the Broadhurst Theater. While no reason has officially been announced, it's rumored that because the Broadhurst is smaller by about 200 seats, the move will help with ticket sales. It's also been said that the upcoming musical Rocky could be moving to the Winter Garden as soon as September 2014. However, no exact dates for the move have been announced. Mamma Mia is a hit musical based on the songs of ABBA and spurred a film version starring Meryl Streep and Amanda Seyfried. Smash may be on the rocks, but another TV musical show is doing great. Fox has renewed Glee for two more seasons. There has been no announcement of which stars will be returning for the next seasons, though Leah Michelle has stated that she definitely wants to stay. Also coming up on Glee this season, star Jane Lynch will be previewing the song Little Girls from Annie. She moves to the show this summer to play the role of Miss Hannigan. The revival of Jekyll and Hyde opened Thursday, April 18th on Broadway, starring Constantine Morialis and Deborah Cox. The show follows a 25-week national tour and is the story of a doctor who unleashes his evil alternate personality while searching for a cure to his father's mental illness. Stars on the red carpet at the premiere included Orfe, Jerry Mitchell, Aaron Tveit, Steve Kazee, Tommy Toon, and Sierra Boggess. Another musical opening, the musical Big Fish, based on the novel and the 2003 film, opened on Friday, April 19th in Chicago for its pre-Broadway tryout. The show stars Norbert Leo Butts and Kate Baldwin and will run a limited five-week engagement through May 5th. It will officially open on Broadway at the Neil Simon Theater this fall on October 6th. Also joining the ranks of shows opening this weekend, Alan Cummings' One Man Macbeth opened on Sunday, April 21st. It opened at the Ethel Barrymore Theater in New York City and is a one-man interpretation of the classic Shakespeare show. It comes from a run over in Scotland that had rave reviews and sold-out crowds. And a happy belated Broadway birthday to Broadway legend Patti Lapone, who celebrated her big day on Sunday, April 21st. Lapone has won Tonys for her performances in Evita and Gypsy, as well as an Olivier Award for her performance in Les Mis. With the musical Big Fish starting its run in Chicago and eventually moving to Broadway in the fall, I want to ask you in this week's question of the week, which Hollywood motion picture would you most like to see on Broadway? Let me know either on Twitter, on Tumblr, or on Facebook, and I will choose my favorites and let you know on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way. I will see you back here in a few days for the latest on The Great White Way.